morning, my name is B. Santosh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Institute of Aeronet Hill in Aero. My subject is image processing. Today, I am discussing about dilation and erosion. So, dilation and erosion are the under the types of morphological operations. So, there are four types of binary morphological operations, but we are using five. Why? Because it or mistransform muscle is there. So, totally five binary morphological operations are there. First one, erosion, dilation, opening, closing, hit or mistransform. So, in the including five binary morphological operations are there. In these five, we are today we are discussing erosion and dilation. So, what is erosion? So, here erosion you can see here increasing to decreasing order in that uh, image. Here, decreasing to increasing of that one. And the opening is nothing but a object. What is the object selecting? That is the opening. Closing means what is the background is there. Suppose here I am taking one image. In that image, one person is there. Okay. So, this person, it is nothing but a object. Okay. So, it is all background. These are all backgrounds. So, object here, it is nothing but a opening and the background is nothing but a closing. So, when object is there, so suppose I am taking this object, I am taking as a black and background I am taking as a white. Suppose background I am taking as a black, object I am taking as a white. Why? Because I have to uh, show the difference of that one. Where is the object is there in the image? So, that is uh, my intention. So, I have to capture the object that is in the color of black. So, what is a background? So, we have to show the differences of background and object. If both are same color, how can we find out the object in the image? So, that is uh, my intention. So, in this opening and closing, we will discuss later. But today we will discuss what is erosion and what is dilation. So, erosion is the one of the two basic operations in the area of the mathematical morphological and other being dilations. Okay. So, erosion and dilation both are important. So, erosion is one of the two basic operators in the area of mathematical morphological and other being the dilation. So, two basic operators we are using that is the erosion and dilation. So, typically applied to binary images, there are various versions that work on grayscale images. So, we already we know that grayscale means except the color. So, suppose black and white. So, these are I am calling as a gray. These are taking as a grayscale images. So, Grayscale is nothing but a, in the form of black or white. So, the basic effect of the operators on the binary images is to erode above the boundaries of regions for the foreground pixels, that is white pixels. So, the area of foreground pixels shrinking in size and holes within those areas become larger. Okay, every, every image, every image, we have to take the holes and holes within those area become the larger. So, every picture we have to take in the form of white and black. That is important. So, this is I am calling as a grayscale. But, uh, the basic effect of the operator. Operator means, what is your operating? So, erosion or dilation, black or white. So, the binary images is to erode away the boundaries of the regions of foreground pixels. That is white pixel. The area of foreground pixels shrinking its size and holes within those areas become the larger. So, what are the working of erosion uh, here in the image process? So, useful background to this description is given the mathematical morphological, okay, M -M, mathematical morphology or morphological ME section of glossary. So, the erosion operator takes two pieces of data as inputs. The first is the image which is to be eroded. The second is a usually small set of coordinates points known as a structuring element, also known as kernels. It is a structuring element that determines the precise effect of the erosion of the input image. So, any of the image, suppose I am taking one image, any of the image, any of the object is there, 
this object first we have to take the structuring element what is the structuring element so that is structuring element i am taking as a form of matrix 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 matrix like this so the middle point of this one it is a structuring element so i am taking 3 by 3 so what is the middle one so i am taking as a, it is a structuring element so the background of this description is given in a mathematical morphology section of the glossary so what is the need of mathematical morphology so why because any of the image the structuring element is important the structuring element is nothing but a middle of the middle part of the image in the pixel size so the erosion operates takes two pieces of data as input the first is the image which is to be eroded and the second is usually small the set of coded points known as structuring element it is also called corner so the structuring element that determines the precise act of a erosion on the input image so what is the effect of structuring element in the erosion of the input image the mathematical definition of erosion of binary images as follows suppose that x is a set of elicited coordinates of corresponding to the input binary image and the k is the set of coordinates for the structuring element k x denotes the translation of k so that origin is at x then the erosion of x and k is simply the set of all points such that k x is a subset of x so any of the image so that image i'm taking as is x is the elicited coordinates of the corresponding image so the input binary image k is the set of coordinates for the structuring element i'm taking x and y axis but here k is nothing but a structuring element structuring element means midpoint of the image or we have to find out the what is the final value of that image so the erosion of x is a simply the set of all points x such that k x is a subset of x so if i am taking the 4 by 4 so what is the middle point in that 4 by 4 okay so maybe i am taking as it is a structuring element so the mathematical definition for grayscale erosion is identical except in the way in which the set of coordinates associated with the input image is derived in addition these coordinates are 3d rather than the 2d so when i am taking the image of every image we are taking manually 2d image only but here what they are telling that these coordinates are 3d rather than the 2d instead of 2d also we have to take the 3d why because structuring element is there so the XML, the example of binary erosion suppose that the structuring element is a 3 by 3 structuring element sc is a 3 by 3 square with the origin at its center as shown in below figure note that in this subsequent diagram foreground pixels are represented by ones and background pixels by zeros okay so this image is a foreground i am taking suppose it is a foreground and the rest of this all those things are the background so foreground i am taking as a here what they are telling that background is zero foreground is one suppose i am taking zero equal to black then what will happen one equal to white obviously why because i have to mention the grayscale only So, the subsequent diagram foreground pixels are represented by ones and the background pixels are zero. Suppose background is zero, that means background is black, and if I am taking foreground is one, means that is white. Suppose instead of zero equal to, suppose I am taking white, one equal to black. So what will happen? Background will be white and the foreground is a black color. So like this, the mathematical definition of grayscale erosion is identical except in the way in which the set of coordinates associated with the input images is derived. In addition, these coordinates are 3D rather than the 2D. Instead of 2D, we have to take the 3D. But binary erosion is the structuring element sc 
is a 3 by 3 matrix with the origin at its center as shown in below figure that the subsequent diagram foreground pixels are represented by 1 and the background is a 0. So, what will happen? Suppose it is one example, it is a 3 by 3 square structuring element. So, structuring element we are uh, in the short form we are also calling as a C structuring element. So, here I am taking 3 by 3 matrix, 3 by 3 square structuring element. Here, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. How it was came? Means, here it is the structuring element. It is a structuring element SE that is I am taking as a these coordinates are 0, 0. So, these are 0, 0. What about this one? Minus 1, comma 0. What about this one? 1, comma 0. So, it is a minus 1, comma 1 here, 0, comma 1 here, my 1, comma 1 here, minus 1, comma minus 1, 0, comma minus 1. So, 1, comma minus 1 like this. So, how we know this coordinate, uh, coordinate values here means, here I am taking the structuring element that is a 0, 0, then only surrounding values are there. What about the surrounding values? I am taking like this. So, these are the coordinate points uh, with respect to the structuring element of 3 by 3 square matrix. So, to compute the erosion of a binary input image by this structuring element, we consider each of the foreground pixels in the input image is the tone and each foreground pixel which we will call the input pixel okay foreground pixel i am calling as a input pixel and the structuring element is on the top of the image input element and the origin of the structuring element coincides with the input pixel coordinates and the every pixel in the structuring element with the corresponding pixels in the image under path of the foreground pixel then the input pixel is left as it is so any of the image I am talking about the image with structuring element, the erosion of a binary input image by this structuring element we consider each of the foreground pixel in the input image is torn in this 3 by 3 how many pixels are occupied in the foreground, how many pixels are occupied in the background that is important. So, each foreground pixel that is the input pixel okay here they are taking as a foreground pixel is nothing but a input pixel okay and the structuring element on the top of the input image so that origin of the structuring element coincides with the input pixel coordinates so how can you select the structure element it will be depending on your foreground or background so here they are telling that structure element is a foreground so, remaining all, it is a background element. So, every pixel in the structuring element, the corresponding pixel in the image under, under path, that the foreground pixel, then the input pixel is left as it is. And any of the corresponding pixels in the image are background. However, the input pixel is also set to a background value. For example, I am taking 3 by 3 structuring element. So, this element effect with the operation is to remove any foreground pixel that is not completely surrounded by the other bright pixels. So, any of that pixel, I am taking here foreground and background are there. So, these pixels any of the structuring element that operations is to be removed any of the foreground pixel that is not completely surrounded by other white pixels. 
Suppose I have to remove the foreground pixel. What will happen if I am removing the foreground pixels? Those pixels are definitely added to the background pixel. Suppose two pixels I removed. So those two pixels are added to the background. That means white is converted to the black. Black is converted to the white. That is the problem with this one. So this corresponding pixel in the image or background. The input pixel is also input set to be a background value. So any of the background value pixels corresponding is that background value is important. So I am taking the background value of 3 by 3. So all are in background. If I want to remove the background pixels, definitely it is going to the foreground pixel. Okay. Then the pixel values will be changed. So when you are changing the pixel values, that is the erosion. Okay. So the 3 by 3 structuring element, the effect of this operation is to remove any fire of organ pixel that is not completely surrounded by the other white pixels. Okay. So we have to remove in the foreground or background that is important. Such pixel must lie in the edges of white regions and the practical upshot that foreground regions shrinking and holes inside a region grow. And the erosion is a dual dilation. Erosion is the dual of dilation that is eroding foreground pixels is equivalent to dilating the background pixel okay so any of the image pixel that erosion is a dual of dilation that is eroding foreground eroding foreground that means it is dilating the background so eroding foreground means dilating the foreground So, when I am going to the dilation means background, erosion is a background, it is a foreground, it is a foreground. So, erosion is a dual of dilation that is eroding the fire, uh, foreground pixel equivalent to the dilating the background pixel. That is an important thing. So, when we are going for the erosion equation, does the structuring element fit the set? Yes. If the structuring element then fit the set, then only we have to form the equation. Okay. It is a structuring element. The element is fit to set F, S. If then erosion of a set A by the structuring element B, all Z in A such that B in A while origin of B equal to Z. Shrinking the object A tends to B equal to Z of B is tends to A. Okay. So, shrinking is important when shrinking in erosion. So, I am taking A tends to B. So, erosion and dilation with the erosion of set A and the structure element of B. So, erosion with structuring element. Okay. So, these are all, suppose I am taking erosion, but it is the structuring element. Okay. <coughs> it is one example. Here I am taking in the figure A, it is the pixels or elements are there in that pixel. What is the pixel size here? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here I am taking 5 by 4 pixel, 5 rows, 4 columns, 5 by 4. So, when I am taking it is a structuring element. So, we have to mapping the each structuring element here. Every Everything, we have to scan this structure element. Here, structure element, structure element, structure element, here, structure element, structure element, structure element, structure element, structure element, structure element, here, one structure element, one structure element, one structure element. So, we have to keep it in the every pixel, every one, two, one, two, one, two, like this, okay. So, how many are mapped with the structure element? 
these are two is there how many two are mapped so we have to take that one here only three are mapped i'm taking here only one two three three are mapped okay suppose here i'm taking another example also how many dotted lines are there these are the pixels so here i'm taking the structuring element one two three so one two three they have to keep the structure element here so how many are there here one three here one and three are there no it is empty next we have to keep here one two three one two three one three is mapped no there is no mapping here i am keeping here one two three one three are mapped yes one three is mapped next i am keeping one two three is it mapped no next i am keeping here one two three is it mapped yes it is mapped here one two three one three are mapped yes one three are mapped here i am keeping structure element here 1 2 3 so 1 and 3 pixels are there yes 1 and 3 are there so 2 is not there is it mapped yes it is mapped so how many are mapped you can take this one so it is a final of erosion how many are mapped mapped with structure element according with input pixel that is erosion so when i am taking the figure a b c and d it is figure is a set a and b is the square structure so st square structuring element so figure a and the figure b is a st square structuring element and it is the erosion of a and b shown and it is the elongated structure element and erosion of a with b so a is one our elements are there b is also one elements are there when i going put to the c it is the erosion of a by b erosion of a by b means the mapping of structure elements with input images those are the erosions and b is the elongated structure element okay when i am going for the elongated structure element that is a erosion of a using by this element so how many elements are mapped so that is a important one so here i am taking d by 4 is the width d is the height okay so it is another example of structure element figure a figure b c and d so using erosion to remove image components so using uh, erosion we have to uh, remove the image components so you can observe from figure a to b these lines are removed these lines are removed how you removed means i applied erosion with respect to structure element okay and the figure a is the 486 into 486 binary image of a uh, wire bond mask b to d b c d image eroded using square structuring element of size 11 into 11 15 into 15 and 45 into 45 respectively the elements of structure elements were all in ones so here all lines are there here removed okay so figure b to c b to c what happened these lines what are the lines are there here removed and here to here what are these lines are there we are removed here so nothing but figure a to b white removed with black b to c same white removed c to d also white removed so from figure a to b b to c c to d what is happening means erosion technique is applied the erosion technique is applied but is what is happened means we are removing the image we are removing the whitish colors are there why because unwanted whites are there we have to remove means black is replaced with that one so that is a technique of erosion so here you can apply here figure a is the 486 into 486 binary image 
and B to C, C to D and D to E are the image erosions are there. We are applied the image erosions with respect to the structure elements. Here another example of erosion. Here it is the input image. You can observe here erosion. What is happened? 3 by 3, 5 by 5 and 7 by 7. So what is happening means here, here to here and here to here. white is replaced with black number of black lines are increased here to increase so what is the background here completely black but here what is happening white and black is there here somewhat white and black is there so here background some white and black is combined here somewhat uh, some white is combined with black here the background is completely the background is completely black in color okay so black means no white that means white removed so here figure a it is the object it is a background so object i am taking as a white background i have to take as a black but here background equal to black you can observe here background equal to black okay foreground equal to white so is it uh, background equal to black is there it is a background is it background is white no the whitish is there so you are you we are satisfied with this one no why because our equation is a background equal to black but here whitish is there here somewhat removed here somewhat removed but here completely removed how we are removed means i applied erosion with respect to the structuring element so when i using the structuring element the size is improved 3 by 3, 5 by 5 and 7 by 7. So, what are the necessary points we have to take as a black? What are the unnecessary we have to take the white? So, when I improve, when I increase in the size, the black also increased. Unnecessary blacking also increased. So, 3 by 3 somewhat better. But 5 by 5, you are, we are not identifying. When I going for the 7 by 7, it is completely not identifying. So, that is an important thing in the erosion so dilation dilation is an operation used to grow or thicken objects in a binary object so the dilation of a binary object a by a structuring element b is defined as a a to b z and a not equal to phi this equation is based on the obtaining the reflection of b about its origin and translating shifting this reflection by z so when I am going for the dilation, is an operation used to grow or think, uh, thicken object in binary objects. Okay. Thicken the object of the binary images. Okay. So the dilation of a binary image is A and the structuring element is B. So the relation between the uh, dilation and structuring element. So dilation. with the structuring element. So, this B equation is based on obtaining the reflection of B about its origin and translating, shifting this reflection by Z. Then, the dilation of A by B is a set of all structuring elements, origin locations, where the reflected and the translated B overlaps with A by at least one element. Okay. So, here I am taking one example for the structuring element to dilate the binary images. Okay, I am taking some ones of each uh, level. The structuring element I am taking S U. So the dilation of A and B. Already we know that A equal to dilation. B is nothing but a structuring element. So the set of all structuring elements of the origin locations where the reflected and translated to overlapping the 
a by least of the elements if i am overlapping the a b means what about a okay that is overlapped with a and with respect to the b okay so it is a binary images so it is i am taking one example how many ones are there you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 so how many ones are there now okay so how many number of ones are there here here 3 6 9 12 so 3 into 4 ones are there but here 3 by 3 into 3 3 into 2 ones okay here three rows and four columns here two columns and three rows so is the reduced ones or not are we reduced ones then dilation so reduced ones here previously we reduced to zeros here we reduced to ones that is a dilation it is a binary image of uh, example and uh, what is the solution for this one so you have to take okay so decreasing to increasing and again we are going for the decreasing okay it is a dilation with respect to the structuring element okay that is the thing and dilation can be used for bridging gaps for example is broken or unclear characteristics as shown in the figure below suppose we have taken one example historically certain computer programs were written using only two digits rather than four of defined applicable year according the accompany software may recognize dates using 00 it is the, like this okay so what is happening here means here whitish is highlighted okay it is combined with black here the combined with black here the white is is added to this one okay so the dilation can be used to bridging gaps for example broken or unclear characters are shown okay these are the unclear or broken letters here i am getting to the cleared letters with unbroken okay this is the dilation process so how we are combining dilation and erosion so that is called opening morphology the opening operation or opening morphology erodes an image and then dilates the eroded image using the same structuring element of both operations here i am taking a to b so a of b with b so already we know that a is the dilation and b is the structuring element so a is the original image of the image and b is the structuring element so the opening operation is used to remove regions of the object that cannot contain the structuring element and the smooth objects are the breaks thin connections as shown in the below figure okay the opening operations erodes an image then dilates the eroded image using the same structuring element for both operations so here one example of dilation figure a original binary image that is the input image here b is the result of opening with square structuring and what about the figure c figure c is the result of opening with square structuring so what is happened means element of size so here structuring element with opening 
you can observe here from here to here only the image size is changed 10 by 10 pixels but here the line is removed here there is no line okay i i, I was not remove any line this in place of this white applied black black that means ones are changed to zeros okay this where are that one here nothing is there here also nothing is there so i was removed or not from the original s yes, i was removed so remove the whitish means uh, here if white equal to 1 then i'm uh, changed to 0 here 0 is a white then i'm changed to 1 that is the final thing so the original binary image with the result of opening its square structuring the element of size is a 10 pixels the result of opening its square structuring element of 20 pixels here 10 and here i am taking the 20 pixels then only the size of the image uh, is changed and uh, the structuring element is applied then white is converted to the uh, black and black is converted to the change so unnecessary white things were removed in that uh, here that is a dilation and the opening operation can also be used to remove small objects in an image while preserving the shape and size of the larger objects are illustrated in the figure below. So, it is the figure A that is the original binary image and the figure B is the result of opening with square structuring element of 13 pixels. Okay. So, original binary image that is the input image, output image with structuring element. So, the opening operation can also be used to remove small objects in an image while preserving the shape and size of the larger objects are illustrated in the figure below. If figure A is a, there are so many whitish colors are there, so many, so many, so many are there. But here result of the opening with square structuring element with 13 pixels. Only what are the highlighting things are there, I, I was keep, keep like this only. Remove, remaining all, I was, uh, uh, black is changed to white and white is changed to black here these white are there here converted to white is converted to the black that means that means ones are changed to zeros okay so it is a dilation process and combining of dilation and duration the, it is a closing morphology here previously the opening morphology here opening morphology, here I am taking the closing morphology. The closing operation dilates an image then erodes the dilation image using the same structuring element for both operations that is A to B of A with B respected. Here A is the origin or erosion or dilation, here B is the structuring element. So the closing operation fills holes that are smaller than the structuring element, the joints narrow breaks, fills gaps in counter, the smooth objects counter then shown in the below figure. Okay. So dilation with structuring element. So what is happened? Means here it is a figure A and it is a figure B. So result of closing with square structuring element of 10 pixels. Result of closing with square of 20 pixels. Here I am taking 10 pixels, here I am taking 20 pixels, here the black is there, here there is no black, okay, here what is meaning means, black is removed, here there is no black, here black is removed, so black is removed means obviously white is replaced, here also like this only, so then what is happened means, 10 pixels are converting to the 20 pixels. Why am 10 are converted to 20 means here white is white is higher, white is more high. Here white is compared to here. Here black is high. So 10 pixels are converting to the 20 pixels. That is a dilation process. And here I have one example. It is the original image. That is the input image. So erosion. What is erosion means? Number of whites. Here only one white is there. 
What here I am taking? 3 by 3. Okay. Dilution means only 1 again. Okay. Erosion means I added. Dilution means removed. Okay. So here dilation means it is one a black is removed. Erosion means we are adding this one. Okay. So that is uh, the thing. Uh, erosion means we are adding and dilation means we are deleting the whitish colors. Okay. With respect to the structuring element. These are the good example of in original image with comparison with erosion and dilation. It is another example of uh, use of opening and closing for morphology filtering. So when I am going for the it is a original image and it is a erosion. Erosion means the black is very high. Black is increasing and opening of A and here closing of opening and here whitish is very high. That means dilation. Okay. You can observe here how many whitish are there, how many blackish colors are there. So digital image with erosion and opening of A and uh, dilation of opening of B and closing of this one. Okay. Here from here to here, here to here and here to here. What is happening means here the whitish, white color is increased. Here white is increasing. Here white is decreasing. So white is decreasing means erosion is applied. White is increasing means dilation is applied. That is a simple thing. So depends on your uh, applications, so we have to change the erosion and dilation values. Okay. These are the references. So today we discussed erosion and dilation with the suitable examples and equations. So there are five binary morphological operations, erosion, dilation, opening, closing, hit or mist transfer. So in, the, in this we are discussing about today erosion and dilation, one and two types. So here we are uh, increasing to decreasing, we are decreasing to increasing. So combining, keep general shape to the smooth with respect to the, this one. Opening means object tree selection, closing means background selection. So here erosion are the two types or two basic operations are there in the mathematical morphology and the typical applied binary images are version of that work is grayscale images. The basic effect of the operator on a binary image is to be eroding away the boundaries of regions of foreground pixels that is white pixels and the area of foreground pixels shrinking in size and holes within this area become the larger. So what is the working of uh, erosion? So the background of this description given in mathematical morphology that is a glossary and the erosion operator takes two pieces of data as inputs. The first is the image which is to be eroded and the second one is the coordinates points or the structuring element. Okay. So structuring element is also important according with the erosion. Okay. Input image, input image selection and structuring element C selection. That is the process of erosion. Okay. And the mathematical definition of erosion is a binary image as follows. Here X is the set of elucidated coordinates and K is the structuring element coordinates. And the mathematical definition of grayscale erosion is identical except in the way of in which the set of coordinates associated with the input images. So here I am taking 3 by 3 structuring element. 3 by 3 structuring element. Here the middle one is 0, 0. So when I am taking the 0, 0, what are the surrounding values? Here leftmost value is a minus 1, 0. Rightmost is a 1, 0. Minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1. So this 3 by 3 square structuring element is applied for the erosion or dilation process. So, to compute the erosion of a binary input image, the structuring element, we considering each of the foreground pixel of the image. And the, what is a foreground pixel? Okay, there are two types, foreground and background. If I am taking the foreground is white, then obviously background is a black. So, the selection is important. And any of the corresponding pixels of the image background, the input pixel is also be a background pixel. That is a 3 by 3 structuring element. And uh, such pixels must be lie at the edges of the white region and the dual of the erosion is a dual of the dilation erosion is fag, uh, er, if i am taking erosion is a foreground and dilation is a background if i am taking erosion is foreground 
then dilation is compulsory is a background. So erosion is the structuring element. It is fit in that set. Yes, then we have to take the complement of A and B. A is the erosion and B is the structuring element. So it is one example of uh, ero uh, input image with uh, structuring element we are forming as a erosion means uh, number of uh, blackish is converting to the white or white is converting to the black. And here it is a image A and the image uh, B is the uh, width of 3D by 4 and the height is D by 8, D by 8. And here image 3, D by 4 is the height, width and D is the height. And finally, figure D is the erosion value with the structuring element. Here one example of figure A to B, B to C and C to D. What is happened means we are removing the white color and converting to the black. That is the number of pixels are changed. Here when I when I input input image is there, the input image is a 3 by 3. We are converting to the 5 by 5 and we are converting to the 7 by 7. What is happening means? the number of white is converting to the black and identi uh, uh, 3 by 3 is the uh, identif identical image but background is white but still what is happening means background equal to we have the same color we have to form suppose I have to form a background equal to black okay but here figure A and B 3 by 3 5 by 5 uh, still 100% black is not applied but in the 7 by 7 the 100% black is applied, but what is happened means the image is unidentical or unidentified, but uh, um, uh, number of black are applied. And the dilation is the operation used to grow or thicken the object in binary images. And the dilation of a binary image A is the structuring element A to B. Here the dilation is A and the structuring element is B. Here an example for finding out the uh, dilation example and we are finding out the here one example some letters are there here these are unclear or broken letters are there but we are converting to the cleared image with unbroken uh, letters with the help of dilation process and how we are combining the dilation and erosion means like this suppose here input image is there this input image this <coughs> this width is there we have to read, uh, change it here and here we are changed this uh, this size okay here rectangle is there converting to the square so are we changed or not yes we are changed here i removed this whitish joints so like this so erosion and dilation is combined here the 10 pixels are changed to the 20 pixels why because in the input whitish is more but when i going to the output image the whitish uh, color are reduced and more the black is dominating so the pixels are changed. So in the image A, 10 pixels of uh, black is there. When I go into the final image, the 20 pixels of black is converted. Here also one example of erosion and dilation. And this is the opening uh, and uh, closing of morphology. Here the closing morphology with the combining of dilation and erosion. Here also like this only, we are combining dilation and erosion. But when we want to unnecessary things here black is there we had to remove yes i was removed here also black is removed yes i was removed with the help of erosion or dilution uh, we are remove removing or adding the white or black here one a good example of uh, original image with erosion applied figure c is the dilation is applied after then dilation is converted to the erosion like this so it is a closing and a closing and opening of morphology with the help of erosion and dilation. Okay, these are about erosion and dilation. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.